do you know what I can't believe? I just I can't believe I was living in it like that for no reason. Literally no freaking reason. What the fuck? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You know what it do, you know what it does. I'm back again with another video. Um today's video is like a a rant, a rant slash story time. Let's talk about people who like inheriting other people's beef. I don't know for what reason, but like, um, if I'm beefing with someone and your friends now want to come beef with me, it's a bit weird. Like, I can't take them seriously. I can't because why are you so why are you so touched? Like, I did something wrong to you. Do you know what I mean? Like last week I was just thinking about when I was in high school and something ridiculous happened to me. Basically, I was in an all girls like boarding school, right? And I had this friend, we're gonna call her Stacy. So me and Stacy were friends. Okay, cool, right? And then I did something wrong to Stacy. I'm gonna say it right now. I was in the wrong. Me. I did something wrong to Stacy. I acknowledge that, right? I acknowledge it then, I acknowledge it now. I was in the wrong. Shut up. Right. So when this thing happened, um like people, a lot of people who didn't sorry guys, my arm is just dark. For some reason. Um a lot of people who didn't like me in like the school were like, oh, oh, chance given let's go for this bitch let's attack her do you know what i mean so like people people were giving their two cents whatever whatever what what and like okay fine because everyone knew what happened if you have an opinion i guess you can say it not that i really give a fuck, but go ahead um and then like a week after this thing happened, like I wasn't talking to Stacy. Like she said she wanted space, I was giving her space. I what else could I do? I was just like, okay, shut. I was giving her her space. I wasn't talking to her. I was talking to my other friends, but then not her. Right. Bear in mind that like our mutual friends were literally like most of them at least were literally like, yeah, what you did was wrong to me. But it's not my situation. It's not my story. Even Stacy's best friend at the time. Yeah, at the time. Um, so now, like, it's a week later. And there's this girl who's in my math class. Her name was Emma. We were never friends. I'm going to say that right now. We were never friends. Never had potential to be friends. Never will be friends. Because I hate her so much. I maybe she's the person i hate the most on this planet and i don't like a lot of people do you understand do you get it i don't like people in general but this one i just think of her and i'm like yes catch yourself okay catch it i'm throwing it so catch so now emma is in my math class or whatever whatever and in math like this is between me and Stacy. I'm just gonna say that again. It's between me and Stacy. But in that, she'd be saying like these little comments, obviously throwing subs at me. And I'd be catching them because I know it's about me. But like, why are you the one throwing them? Is it. Did I do something to you? Did I do something to you? Do you know what I mean? Um, fair. And then, um, like, this one night, I think it was a Friday, um, we had something at the boys' school. Because there was a girls' school and a boys' school. We had something at the boys' school. Like, we had to watch something. Um, and I'd gone earlier, I think. Or something like that. Then, I'm going through like my like people's statuses. Because I was bored. And then, I see a picture that looks familiar of me and Stacy. On a bunch of people's texts and I'm like weird but okay what's happening 
and then someone sent me a screenshot people started sending me screenshots of like the statuses whatever whatever people whose numbers i didn't have people i didn't talk to who are reposting this thing i'm gonna put the picture there but i'm gonna crop stacy out and just show you what she did to me I mean, I didn't look nice in the picture, so thank you, I guess. But she basically blurred me out and put like a, a snake over my face type of thing. And then she started posting it and a bunch of other people who were in her squad and I guess were Stacy's friends started posting it. Actually, in fact, people who weren't even Stacy's friends also started posting it. If you watch this, catch your sub as well, sweetie. They started um, repost. Sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that. They started reposting this thing um, with what like little comments with snakes little this 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 that whatever whatever and i was like okay weird like this emma han took time okay she took time she got the picture from stacy or oh, stacy had already sent it to her. i don't know she went into editing apps blurred me out put a snake on my face saved it and then she said yeah now nah, let me post i mean i was living in her head like that yes i clearly was because it wasn't your issue it wasn't her issue at all like why 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 are you why do you know what i mean um like a bunch of people were reposting it including people who were like my friends weird <laughs> people are weird hey people are weird people are strange right and i was like okay fine whatever um i need to stop doing that i just get distracted with what i'm touching so um she basically like i don't know inherited stacy's beef right but like it was stacy's beef like i get it okay stacy was your friend you could have spoken about me in your dorm room whatever 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 but then did that for what so what i'm saying is that stop inheriting people's beef because you end up looking stupid because me and stacy are on good terms now and you when i it's just they like you did all of that um i don't know for stacy's approval to say you had her back but like are you crazy are you dumb anyways that is the story of someone who inherited beef that wasn't theirs and it really really pissed me off like this is a really short video but guys mind your own business like mind your own freaking business it's not that hard it's literally not that hard you just need to mind your own you know what i mean like if you actually this is a really good lesson if you stop worrying about other people so much things will start like going your way you can do it you want. like she's a really smart girl she was a really smart girl but like this was one of the dumbest things she's ever done because you okay anyways i'm sure she called her sub but what i'm saying is that guys mind your own business try it that's the moral moral that's the moral of the story mind your freaking business period okay once you start minding your own business i promise you you can become the baddest bitch period do you understand i used to i used to be involved in people's beefs i used to want to be there also either typing typing or i also want to be there fighting and then i was like um uh, it's literally none of my business it has nothing to do with me why am I doing this? And look at me now. I'm glowing. I'm doing what I'm doing. All about me. And I have no issues. If you do that, yeah, if you mind your business and drink your water, you'll be grand. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This was just a short video. Since I'm uploading twice a week, I thought I would just, you know, do it. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Mwah. Bye.